Hi, Basonti. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Ndivuti. And I am Ndivuti. And this is the next episode of a Skeleton in My Closet. Good day, Ndivuti and her family. I am 31-year-old single mother to a 10-year-old girl. Her dad and I were together for two years when I fell pregnant, and he asked me to marry him, paid the lawola and everything. We were preparing for the wedding, which his dad was going to fully cover, and my sister came to me saying that she doesn't trust him and believes that he is cheating or is going to cheat on me. She would talk about how she dreamt of him with another woman, and to be quite honest, all her dreams in the past have come true. So, just a month before the wedding, she came to me again and said that she would ask the underground gang to take care of him if there's a chance that he will cheat on me, because no one has the right to play me like that. She then bought my fiancé socks as an engagement present. That guy wore those socks every day and didn't want to take them off. He would wear them during the day and at night. One night a week later, he was sleeping, and I took those socks and threw them in the bin. When he woke up, he looked for them everywhere. He was shouting and swearing at me, saying I should tell him where they are because he can't live without them. This was baffling to me because they were just socks, and he had a habit of wearing his new things more than he should. But he was way too attached to these socks. It was the weirdest thing ever, especially because they came from my sister. I told her how he's been acting, and all she said was that she told me he would cheat, and maybe she is the person he wants to cheat with. That's why he is so attached to the socks she bought. So, I told his mom what he's been doing because he had just started an internship, but was not going to work because he was looking for the socks. He was like a madman. You would have seen how our apartment looked. He turned everything upside down. His mom came over and said I should give him the socks so we see how he's going to act. I pulled them out of the bin and gave them to him. He was so happy. He was even crying and kissing them. His mom asked if I trusted my sister because his behavior is like that of someone who is possessed. And I said, I suspected the same thing, but I've never seen my sister even use moti, though I know she believes in traditional medicine. Ndibuti. So, his mom said we should go to her house. She will call someone, a seer, to come see her. And we get to the bottom of what's going on. The whole time we were waiting, I was pleading with God that he makes sure my sister is not the cause of this. But I guess he couldn't because she was. While waiting for the prophet, my fiancé sneaked out and we didn't see him. The seer told us that he must have gone to the person who was making him crazy, but it was too late. He is as good as dead. His soul left his body when I took those socks from him. He is just a walking zombie now. I lost my mind. My mother-in-law drove me to my mom's house where my sister was staying and we found her in bed with my fiancé having sex. He just looked at us and pointed at me and said, This is your fault. You stole my socks. I don't want you anymore. Then he passed out and never woke up again. We rushed him to hospital and prayed for him and he was pronounced dead when we got there. I had never been so hurt, so confused and angry at the same time. It was clear that my sister bewitched him with those socks. Yes, we could never have the proof, but the evidence was in how he acted with them and the things my sister said before buying the socks, and she didn't want to buy me anything. I was seven months pregnant, and I had just lost someone I was supposed to spend the rest of my life with. The father of my unborn child and my sister was the reason. How was I ever going to be able to tell my child what happened to his or her dad? His family banned my sister from going to the funeral, and so my parents also chose not to go because they didn't believe my sister killed him, and she denied buying him any socks, so I was the one who was lying with my mom-in-law. I was lucky because he did tell her that my sister bought those socks. My family supported her, though they knew she slept with him and he died on her bed. They were comforting her instead of me. So instead of a wedding, we had the funeral. 
It was the most painful thing I went through. Then his parents said I should stay with them till I give birth because they weren't comfortable with me going home to where my sister is or staying alone at the apartment. Traditionally, I was already their Magoti. I gave birth to a beautiful baby girl who is a spitting image of her father. I stayed with them till it was time for me to go back to work. Ndivuti, my parents refused to come to the in-law's house to see my baby until they apologized for lying about my sister. But they didn't lie and I knew that, so they never apologized and my parents never came to see my baby. I went to go stay at a new place when I went back to work and still my parents didn't want to come to my place saying I sided with outsiders instead of my own family. So I would go to my in-laws when I need to feel like home and as much as I blamed myself for what happened to my men, they didn't. They embraced me for years till I met someone else two years ago. I am like their daughter for sure. The guy wants to get married. But I can't accept because I am scared of what might happen to him, especially now. We were walking at the mall and we met my sister. She picked up my daughter and introduced herself, and my daughter had not been okay since. We are praying for her to find healing, and we are taking her to someone soon, and we are taking her to someone soon. But this means my sister still wants to destroy every good thing I have, because she's the reason my daughter is sick. But I believe God will make things right. People from our community are saying, I chose a rich family because mine is poor. But they don't know the whole story. And I can't tell them because if I did, they would kill my whole family. Because that's what they do to witches in our community. I don't know if my parents are in on it. But I do know that there is someone else in our family who is helping my sister with destroying me and those I love. But these prophets never say. The only reason I was able to confirm it was my sister was because she was the only person who bought my men socks or any present. Everyone else bought us combined presents. And Vasonti, that's it for now. Do leave your comments down below. I love you.